Framework Church. This is Pastor Jason, and uh, I am here this morning talking about Psalms 20. I actually woke up this morning and I had an old chorus going through my head. It was uh, called uh, Some May Trust in Horses, Some May Trust in Chariots, but we will trust in the name of the Lord. And uh, I thought, man, I got to find out where that is. I, I knew it was in Psalms somewhere. And so I ended up looking it up and it was in Psalms 20. And so I wanted to, to read a little bit of that part with you. Um, in, on, in Psalms 20, it actually, that part starts in verse seven. Um, and that's what it says. Some in, in the NLT, it actually translates as some nations boast of their chariots and horses, but we boast in the name of the Lord. Those nations fall down and collapse, but we will rise up and stand firm. Give victory to our King, O Lord, and answer our cry for help. And um, I just began to think about what we put our trust in. And at times like this, we often are putting, we, we, we're, we're losing things that we have our trust in. We, we're losing security. And um, sometimes we have our trust in our job. Sometimes we have trust in status. Uh, sometimes we put our trust in our friends. And when some of those things are taken away, it's really hard to, to know where we stand. It's really hard to know where our identity really lies. And uh, we were, I'm going in over a victory over darkness. We were talking about it last night with our Wednesday night group. And um, it really says in, in times of trials, when you lose those securities, those things that really have your identity, um, that's when you can really learn to trust in God. Because when those things are finally stripped away, when all the things that you hold dear to are um, missing in your life, really there's only one person to turn to, and, that, and that's God. And so I began to think as, you know, the horses and the chariots, those were like the, the big um, military animals at the time. They're like the tanks, the helicopters. And what David here is saying is, I can't put my trust in that security stuff. I can't put the trust in the things that will help us win. I got to put my trust in God. And when I do that, then we can succeed. And, and so I want to encourage you today to think through in this time, even what are the things that I have been putting my trust in that are being taken away right now? What are the things that are be that God is having to fill that void that I didn't even know I needed to fill before? Is it, is it friends? Is it relationships? Are, are, is it uh, eating out? Um, is it even a church building? Are you trusting in something that's not God? Or are you really putting your trust in the Lord himself? And so we have this weird, I don't, I don't want to call it opportunity, but it's almost like an opportunity to really step back in our culture, step back in our lives, and in the quietness and in the waiting, learn to trust in God. And so I, I really am um, praying for you guys. I'm praying for myself and my family as we are going through this to say, Lord, with all this stuff being stripped away, help us trust in you more. David actually um, wrote this Psalm 20 as a song as most of the Psalms are. And I wanna pray the first part of this over you. And so I'm actually just gonna read this in the NLT version as a prayer for you in closing. And it says this, in times of trouble, may the Lord answer your cry. May the name of God of Jacob keep you safe from all harm. May he send you help from his sanctuary and strengthen you from Jerusalem. May he remember all your gifts and look favorably on your burnt offerings. May he grant your heart's desires and make all your plans succeed. May we shout for joy when we hear of your victory and raise a victory banner in the name of God. May the Lord answer all your prayers. Amen. Let's give God glory and trust in him today. We'll see you later.